very bad luck. And what do you think, uh, where is the turning point and the, within the, uh, this Australian team and uh, which five catches also is losing? And do you think if his five catch is not lose, then his uh, position is different? Five catches? Uh, can you repeat it, please? Yeah. Yeah. We drop five. Yeah, catches. drop the catches, oh. yes. Uh, look, I mean, um, I think we were right in the game, right till the last over. Um, but just that experience of uh, Australia, we saw them through. Um, just a little disappointing with the loss. And um, I feel we fielded pretty well. But, uh, you know, yeah, a couple of chances could have been, uh, you know, uh, we could have taken those chances and then uh, the things could have been different. Maybe 10, 15 runs less, even the last over. But at the same time, I would like to uh, say that we put in our best effort forward uh, in this game. Hi, Amul sir. Hi. Hard luck. Uh, we saw that uh, during the drinks break, uh, during you know a couple of breaks, that a lot of messages were being sent in. During the drinks break, you were almost exclusively talking to Harman, whereas you know the equation was still at about nine, ten runs per over. Uh, what was the con what was the messages being sent, and uh, in terms of you know even if at all, and keeping net run rate also in mind, was that also a message? Yeah, first and foremost, it was about the run chase. Uh, second uh, was, you know, keeping the net run rate also in, in, in account. Uh, but the only message was, uh, if, uh, if we take it a little deeper, then, uh, you know, we do have a, a good chance to chase these runs down. That was the only message to Harman and Dipti. Uh, if, uh, you know, I think Harman's presence was very important uh, till the end. That is what I felt in a run chase. Uh, we almost got it through. Yeah, uh, hi, I'm a bad luck today. Um, I just want to ask you, the Phoebe Litchfield um, review, and you know, she seemed to think she was out, and then uh, she was not out. What is your understanding of what happened there? Because you know, a couple of the fielders were also asking Sue Redfern kind of to explain it to them. What did you think? Well, I, I don't know um, whether I'm qualified to answer about the umpires, but at the same time, uh, what my, uh, you know, what I gathered from that dismissal, um, I mean, non-dismissal is that um, she didn't move before the ball was released. Uh, so the Lexham mark, what, what was there, it stood as it is. Uh, that was my only understanding about it. Whether it was out or not, it was up to the umpires to decide in the third umpire. So, yeah, it was a crucial one, but... Sorry, and just in terms of, um, you know, you guys did a lot of prep work coming into this. I know you had several camps and, and that kind of thing. Did you see that playing out or, you know, do, do you think you missed a step along the way? I mean, obviously, thorough, thorough preparation went into this. Sorry, everyone, just a reminder, one question each. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, in terms of preparation, I think we were, um, we had everything uh, going in that camp in Bangalore. And, um, you know, we had two camps. One was dedicated towards fitness and fielding, and the other one was uh, just the skill camp uh, because we, ha we did have about eight weeks to prepare. So um, I couldn't have asked for more from uh, my support staff, and I couldn't have asked for more from the players. They gave their best in those camps. Preparation about this World Cup was thorough. We came into this World Cup uh, really upbeat. Uh, yeah, it is a little disappointing to lose the two games in the league stages. Hi, Sunil. Was that the reason? Or uh, Sri Anka Patil's uh, 16th over 14 runs and last over 12 runs? What do you think came closest? Because this is the first time after 12, 14, and 16, 2000, India hasn't qualified to the semi-final. So what is it that you want to uh, send a message back home to Indian fans? Thank you. Well, I would not like, at this moment of time, I would not like to uh, pinpoint, um, you know, about the 14th over or the 16th over, what you said. Um, it's a collective effort. We are in it all together. We said that uh, right at the start of this game that, um, you know, whether um, whatever happens, um, this group is a special group. And uh, we care for each other and, um, you know, we will, uh, 
you know, I am sure in, um, in days to come, I am sure you will find those results uh, going uh, our way. So, yeah, I would not like to pinpoint a, any particular over or those catches dropped. It happens in a, um, uh, in, uh, in a, in a game and um, we just want to, um, you know, learn from this, uh, this experience and learn from this disappointment. Um, hi, Amol. Yeah. Um, well, it's not over yet. There is a big match tomorrow. Yeah. Who, who are you backing? And uh, we'll be, <laughs> well, any message for them? We'll be uh, eyeing for it. Um, any message for who? Whoever you're backing tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Um, well, we are, but I just want to wish, um, you know, Pakistan all the best, I think. Um, that's all I can say. But we will be watching the game very closely, that's for sure. Hard luck today, coach, on the result, but efforts, as you said, were there. I just want to understand, yesterday, while addressing the press conference, uh, Harman spoke about how the conditions, because you were playing here for the first time, that too under the lines, the conditions were at such that it took a little bit of time to adjust. And then she said that we will assess again today and we'll decide on uh, whatever the team combination will be. So um, three seamers came in in Renuka, Arundhati, and Pooja. Uh, I know one of the changes was a last minute change that you couldn't do anything about it. But want to understand uh, what pushed that decision to have uh, three of them together in playing 11? Uh, look, I mean, we came into this World Cup uh, with Pooja being one of the best bowlers, um, you know, going in the last 12 months, seeing her record and her, um, her uh, performance. Uh, she was one of the best bowlers in the, in the in the side, and uh, we had decided on this uh, on this eleven. This was probably one of the best elevens that we had, and the conditions that you know we we wanted to have the sixth bowling option against Australia, uh, and um, I think we that was probably one of the best teams, uh, you know, in this. If you if you pick it up uh, before the start of the tournament, I think you would have picked this this side out of the fifty. So we stuck by it. Hi, Coach. Hi. Hard luck today. Um, I just really wanted to ask you, there's still some time left, but I wanted to ask you about Harman specifically because yeah. she's had a neck strain. She was even holding on to her neck a little bit today. Can you just tell us if she's okay? And just how are you supporting her? How have you two supported each other just through this campaign? Because a lot of this conversation right from last October, she's constantly spoken about how speaking with you or working with you on batting has sort of changed things for her. And we saw how she became that important person who needed to stick through and saw the game through till the end, irrespective of what happened with the result. So can you just take us through just your equation with her and how your um, sort of stint with the team has come through and taken you guys through this journey? Well, I think it's been fantastic working with this lot. As I said, and I, as I answered, that this is a very special lot that uh, we are working with. Um, and uh, we care about each other. Um, and I think... Harman is a, a very integral part of, of this team. Um, she's been a captain. It's been fantastic 10 months, um, you know, working with them, uh, working with her and uh, all others as well. Uh, but, um, yeah, I mean, she's fine. She's going through a lot of pain. You know, she got hit on her head uh, right at the start of the tournament. Uh, just before the New Zealand game, she had a hit on her, on her head. Uh, one day prior, I think one night prior, when we were practicing, then again the next train. Uh, but she's fine. I think uh, she's battling with it, and you can see it. But she is, um, she's a workhorse. So I think she goes about doing a business. Uh, it's been special working with this lot, as I said, for the last ten months, and going forward, looking forward to it. Thank you. Thank you.